on my phone, I'm like, hold on, let me check the stage. What's good, YouTube? What's good, Toasty Gang? It's your boy, Toasty B, man, and we back for another reaction video. We ain't even finna play. Look, this video, we got Mr. Beast. Mr. Who? Mr. Beast. The guy who probably an NPC 5000 overlord, bro, because this he be doing. I don't understand who come up with the content and hit how he hit. I'm pretty sure, look, he just uploaded this an hour ago, and it's already at 4 million views, and I'm not 4 million five one. Shit, I'm in that fucking view count. Either way, go, you already know what I'm gonna say, man. If you're not coming to you lame, and if you're not subscribing, you can't be gang. So make sure you join the game. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. We're gonna hop straight into this video. I guess he said, I spent seven days buried alive. Now let's see what the hell Mr. Beast got going on, man. I'm gonna spend the next seven days buried alive under 20,000 pounds of dirt. This is the scariest thing I have ever done. All right, well, I guess it's time. Bury me alive. 20,000 pounds of dirt. Now, I, how, long, how long, okay, say something, go wrong. How long do that take to get that man out of there? He dead, he dead body. That's skeleton, that's maggots eating that man already. <laughs> oh, that was scary. This has gotta be terrifying. Yeah, this is pretty much most people's worst fear. Oh my God, that dirt is terrifying. Brace yourself. <laughs> Drop the pain. But to be fair, his coffin do look a little big, bro. He, he he looked like he could turn and, you know, do some shit in there. He got some snacks by his feet or some water. Oh, God. I feel like I need to hold the roof. Oh, oh, my, oh my roof is shaking. <laughs> I'm entrusting my life to this coffin for the next seven days. Let's pray it doesn't just randomly decide to break. And obviously, this goes without saying, but yes, this is 100% real. And I'll be honest, I severely underestimated how hard this was going to be. And with that, the challenge has officially started. I am now trapped in here for the next seven days. It took the boys so long to bury me alive that I already have to pee and the challenge just started. In case you're wondering so you how I use the bathroom. So yeah, I, he got to get to that. What you going to do, pee in the bottle? I know you got a big milk, milk jug gallon somewhere right there, my boy. Hold on. All right, man, let's get back into this. Room down here. Well, yeah. This is so uncomfortable. All I have to survive the next seven days, ah, my foot, is the food in this briefcase, which is basically just some MREs and snacks. Ah, my foot went numb. A five gallon drum of water over there. <laughs> hey, look how you sitting. They got that man. They got that man up in there. MREs and up. snacks. Ah, my, my foot went numb. A five gallon drum of water. That nigga cramped up in there. But how can you? He able to sit up though, so he could he could stretch out his back really, really. At the, that much, how big is this damn coffin, Mr. Beast? Water over there, and whatever essentials the boys put in this briefcase, which probably means I'm gonna run out of food way before the seven day mark. In all seriousness, this is extremely dangerous, and so I don't suffocate. I need to make sure people are watching me at all times. Jimmy, can you hear this? Yeah, it sounds like Nolan's mom is jumping on the surface. <laughs> if we had twelve people, maybe it would be that. It's almost 1 a.m. I have a feeling a lot of you are going to start going to bed. I need someone to be near a walkie at all times. If I need something, I actually need one of you to answer, okay? And now that I have nothing better to do. <sighs> Bro, the shit you do for content. Look, he literally in there for seven days not doing nothing. Hey, but he got a lot of time to think and plan. His next YouTube video after this is going to be a banger. Watch. Them seven days in isolation got that man right. I'm gonna head to bed, and I'm either gonna wake up well rested or crushed by 20,000 pounds of dirt. Hopefully I wake up well rested. Sleep is gonna be key to finishing this challenge, because when I'm asleep, I'm not thinking about the fact that I'm trapped in this box. But that only works most of the time. Is there a fly in here? The goal is to sleep as much- Bro, no. How the hell a fly get in there, probably six feet underground? I don't- Nigga, I would have been so annoyed, me and that fly, I would, I would not have stopped until I seen that fly smashed against one of them glass panes in there. That would have been the most annoyingest thing. Like, nigga, how you get in here? What bag you was sleeping in? Much through this challenge as possible for my own sanity. Oh, look Let's... at him. He looks so cozy. <sighs> Jimmy J! No. Nolan drew all over your face. Hey, Nolan, how many hours till your mom comes to set? <laughs> oh, no, I know you're gonna say Hopefully she doesn't accidentally crush the coffin. <laughs> I feel bad. The most important His thing is must. family. AAA shares the same family values. For over a hundred years. 
My strategy during this video was to that man mama must be big. You sleep the entire time. I completely forgot though. Get in the comment section and let me know. Do y'all like big women? Or or is Mr. Beast right? You, you, you might want to stay away from them because they could kill you or they'll, they'll have some pressure around them. Get in the comment section and let me know. My friends are going to annoy me and not let me sleep. This is going to be miserable. I want to start today off by turning these long pants into shorts. Ow. Ow. Oh, I just punched that box. Mission one complete. Your boy has shorts. This is our food briefcase. Let's give this MRE a try. MRE stands for meal ready to eat. All you have to do is add hot water and it chemically cooks the food. The boy chicken pesto pasta is on the other hand, we're grilling up steaks and literally feasting on top of my grave. You know, Jimmy, just for you, we're going to eat MREs for the rest of the time we're out here. Really? Yeah. That's fucked up. Them niggas eating a five star meal on top of that nigga while he six feet underground eating MREs. No, I literally heard Tariq in the background say no. <laughs> Enjoy your hot water pasta in a bag. Meanwhile, this is my reality. Oh, it's crunchy. Why is pasta crunchy? This is, this is great. I was so bored, I actually ended up punching my coffin for fun. Until my knuckles started to hurt. So I put a sock on my hand so I could keep punching the wall. I'm desperate for entertainment. Oh, Jimmy. You know what that means? Somebody signed my, my boy Mr. Beast up to fight Elon Musk or uh, what's the other dude's name? It's Mark Zuckerberg. Put, we could put Mr. Beast in that category. I think Mr. Beast, could, uh, he could hang with them too. Somebody train Mr. Beast, man. Thank God, I'm so bored. One second! Who y'all think will win out of that? Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, or Mr. Beast? That's a new trio. Who y'all going for? <laughs> oh, whoa. What'd you do? Yo, that actually scared me. Can you at least semi explain to me what you're doing, seeing how my life is on the line? All right. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, the boys are incapable of explaining anything. What they've done is they've stuck a pipe all the way down to my grave, vacuumed the dirt out of it, just to take this surgical wire camera and feed it down and look at me suffer. Oh, that's why they put a, uh, that's why the coffin is see-through on top, huh? So they could do this. But damn, wait, don't they got a camera inside already? So what's the point of doing this? You want to see the man from the top of the glass? You already see him from inside. Vacuumed the dirt out of it just to take this surgical wire camera and feed it down and look at me suffer. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens. It's time to go in. <laughs> this is so surgical. What is that? Oh, that's a fly. Oh, that fly on my leg freaked me out. Get away from me. You want to hold this steady? Just keep looking. Dude, I would have, I don't know how he just sitting in there laying with a fly. Mr. Beast, you cold, dude. I'm, I am not laying in no fucking four by four box with a fly. Oh, move your, ah! Oh, we <laughs> see him. Having fun? Good night, Jimmy. And when day two was coming to a close, the boys left me to go spend time by their RV. And being the understimulated man I was, I thought it'd be a good time to crack into their essentials briefcase and see what was inside. Wait, he's opening the card. Day two. Is this Nolan's mom? I found a photo of your mom. Bro. <laughs> did you do that? No, that was Bro, who did that? Nolan, is this your mom? Why are they on your mom like that, Nolan? I think Mr. Beast trying to crack your mama, dude. Nolan, Mr. Beast might want to crack your mama. You might, you might want to. <laughs> Oh my god, she's on his chest. Oh my god. <laughs> Besides somehow losing this picture, if I had to guess what I think would make me quit this challenge, it'd be not wanting to poop underground, back pain, back pain, back pain, and maybe some back pain. And I That is kind of, uh, I didn't even think about it. How you gonna, sh bro, you can't sh for a week. Because if you do, that I don't think they got no smell proof bags that's gonna contain that. Not that one right there. You gonna sh and you gonna smell that sh the whole seven days, buddy. I wouldn't sh to the last... Last 48 hours, nigga, I ain't shitting. Fuck that. Obviously, you can tell this is already getting pretty hard for me. But like usual, you better bet it's gonna get a whole lot worse. It's raining really heavy right now. I just woke up to the sound of thunder. Nolan, huh? wake up. We gotta check on Jimmy, make sure he's like not crushed. I'm actually kind of concerned. This looks way more funeral-esque. You think that dirt's heavier now? Dirt plus rain is heavy. Jimmy! I think I have an idea of how to wake him up. Hey, I wonder if he gonna hear that shit under there. He like, what the fuck? 
What are they doing up there? They got some speakers on that ass, Mr. Beast. Is someone drilling? It's one of those days. Ah! I don't even have my pants on yet, and things are already getting crazy. Hey, I know Mr. Beast be tired of this shit sometimes. I know he be tired of it. I know it be days where he just wish he could just reset and, and not upload shit. Hey, can you hear us? What are you doing up there? There are currently 15 speakers on top of your grave. Ah. So if I had to guess, Chris is about to play stupid music. Jimmy, it's a party up here. Oh my, whoa. Yo, my coffin's actually shaking. Jimmy, there's an earthquake, oh my God. Wait, what is that? I just noticed there's an unscrewed bolt on the side of my coffin. His screws came loose in the coffin. From the base? Are you kidding me? Literally from the base. Should I be concerned this wasn't screwed all the way in? Max it out! Whoa! What the heck are you doing right now? I'm vibrating! Ugh, these vibrations are kind of hurting my head. Oh, why is there flowers in my hair? I'm freaking out. I don't think that's healthy, bro. The fact that they put ultrasonic waves underground or sound waves underground and he trapped in a box, I think that's probably affecting him more than we probably think. I don't know, though. Maybe probably getting a damn fair high box that dissipate energy. I don't know, but like he said, it's boxes rather than they feel that. Okay, let's go dig a tunnel. We're gonna start the tunnel right here and dig all the way into Jimmy's coffin. We have the speakers blaring noise so that he doesn't hear us digging. I've got an idea. We'll play construction noises over the speakers so that way he doesn't hear the excavator. There's a loud noise and no one's answering over the walkie. So either I'm about to die. It's like playing a video game. Or they're about to do something dumb. Except for you could accidentally kill somebody. I've officially crossed. Oh, that man know how to use the excavator, huh? It's a good working hard man. Good hard working man, dude, for real. That's the 50 hour mark. I have now been buried longer than I was last time I did this challenge. I promised my doctor that I would move every day so I don't get blood clots. Because apparently laying down for seven days straight can kill you. I'm taking a hold. We gotta loosen up the dirt for Chris. I asked the boys to pack dumbbells and they gave me three pound dumbbells. So that's why them people in the old people home be dying. It's not because they be old, it's because them people don't be making them walk around and move. They be bedridden. Ow, wow, 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 wow. Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do my best not to think about the fact that I could die when I stand up in a couple of days. Chris, go a few feet deeper! I'm not certified to do this at all. I'm bored in a coffin. Check in the description. Tell me five things you would want underground in the coffin. If you had to do this for seven days, give me five things you think you would, you would need in order to survive this challenge. Five. My five would be, uh, let me see, let me see. I need some bud, some good weed, some good tree, a five gallon bucket of water, 10 packs of MRE. Nah, matter of fact, we ain't need no, no MRE. 10 packs of ramen noodles, four, some pictures of some, some, some my beautiful lady, some blankets. A lot of blankets, so I can use them for my head to get comfortable, pillow higher, I need to relax. That would be my five. Get in the comment section, let me know what the five you would need. Other than that, let's get back to it. We definitely stayed up all night and dug this tunnel and didn't pay that guy to do it. Is this safe? I'm going second. What's that? And that then you bring up the rear, Tariq. What is that? You guys come right behind me. One of the weird parts about this challenge is there are so many cameras always recording at all times. We should dig a couple more inches and then we're to the coffin. It didn't really bother me the first few days, but I just have this weird feeling someone's always staring at me and it's starting to like kind of irritate me. Fuck oh, this, there he is, there he is. He's almost gone. <laughs> what is that sound? Why is he laying like that? Bro, you underground. This, he relaxed like he had a five-star hotel. And he said, yeah, he just need the grapes to come down right here and feed him with a, with a damn big-ass leaf flower to fan him because he just comfortable underground. Right here. Hi, Jimmy. What? Hi, Jimmy. Oh. Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, do you see us? I see Nolan's forehead. Yeah, it's hard to miss. How long did it take to dig that tunnel? Literally all night, Jimmy. This is not what I was expecting to happen today. Hey, Nolan, one second. What do you think of that photo? What do I have to do to get rid of that picture of my mom? This is the only thing keeping me sane. How do I get it back? I'm framing this and keeping it forever. I'm sorry. You've been in this coffin for so long that you forgot about what happened to the channel. Yeah. yeah. You're almost at 200 million. You're going to hit 200 million subscribers in that coffin. Wish I 200 million subscribers? 200 million. 
Hey, Mr. Beast, this is a, 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 a message. This is just a message to Mr. Beast, bro, for uh, anybody who want to clip this and send this to Mr. Beast. Hey, Mr. Beast, can you donate? Donate some likes, man, this way. Donate some likes this way. That's all we ask for. Toasty Gang, we just need some likes, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. From Mr. Beast. Let's get it. I can see it live. Me too, my friend. No one has a surprise for you as well. We're going to tape this feast with bars to Jimmy. Oh, my God, it's so hot down here. Is that the new Feastable bar? Hey! This is actually pretty good marketing by my friends. Now in every time lapse, Feastables will be there. <sighs> I hope tomorrow's easier. It's a weird feeling. Like, I'm very tired, but for some reason I can't sleep. I don't know, I've never had this happen before. Why am I crying? I don't know. <laughs> you crying because all of them emotions is in there sweating on you. Oh, yeah. It's officially day five. Only two more days of this nightmare. I don't think humans are meant to lay down for five days straight. I'll try to act like I'm not depressed. Almost there. <laughs> Jimmy, we got paintball guns and we're gonna shoot you. He said he almost there. What y'all think, man? Let me know. Uh, is this that bad? I ain't gonna lie, I wouldn't wanna be underground for seven days. I couldn't do it. Like I said, even though I would need five things, but I couldn't do that, bro. Seven days, that's, that's, that's hard. Your tombstone. That sounds fun, can I join? I don't even know what to say to them. Jimmy, what have you been doing for fun? Nothing. I'm in mental agony. Have you pooped yet? I have to poop really badly, but I'm gonna see if I can hold it in for the next two days. I don't know why, but I have like no motivation to do anything. I've been laying here for five days and I don't even have enough energy. What the hell could you do in the coffin, my boy? Energy to prepare a meal. And because going to the bathroom down here is so difficult. Don't ask me how but I accidentally got some pee on my shorts. I'm cutting off the part of my shorts that are infected. Sorry for how short they are now. That was disgusting. Jimmy, we're here to celebrate. We're almost at 200 million subs. Well, what's the estimate of when we hit it? How long? I'm not a rocket scientist. <laughs> what does he want from us? I've been feeling pretty terrible all day, but the fact that we're about to hit 200 million subscribers actually makes me kind of happy. You know, since we're about to hit 200 million subscribers, this would be a super convenient time to talk. Talk about Verizon Home Internet. That actually is good. And uh, now he's just some random dude in North Carolina. <laughs> I used to be just a random guy in Nebraska. Hey, his video, his, his subscribers go up pretty quick. If you seen that shit moving, that motherfucker was going up like, you got a million people watching every second or some shit. Carl, this is a heartfelt moment. Don't copy Nolan. It's crazy that we used to like talk about this sitting at a lunch table and now we're at 200 million subscribers. That's insane. I just want to say it's been an honor working with everyone. Let's crush some more goals. And finally, Chandler, close us off. I first started working here, it was like seven of us and I was the janitor and now we're at 200 million subs and I'm very grateful. You know, I started making videos when I was 11, I'm 25 now and I never in a million years thought the channel would get this big. I mean, as we're about to hit 200 million subscribers i just want all of you to know that i appreciate every single one of you that watch my videos I... hey shout out to you salute mr beast because yeah you put a lot of content out you put a lot of work into this content space bro and who try or wish they could recreate your videos bro but it's hard you, you put a lot of work into it so salute 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 kudos to you man I still remember the days when i would make videos and literally get zero views thank you so much we're gonna see all these numbers move That boy, that boy hit 200 million subs. Subby wubbies. Cold game. Oh, we did it! Woo! I think it's unfortunately time that we unplug you now. Wait, hold up, hold up. I haven't even gotten a chance to call my girlfriend yet. Yeah, we got you. We got you for sure. All right, bro. We're going to be right here, okay? You yeah. just finished that call. Pl come on. Plug it back in. I just wanted to say, like, just two minutes so my girlfriend knows I'm alone. <laughs> Let's go eat. All right. <laughs> They said, man, you got your subscriber count. We, we finna have fun, Mr. Beast. Mm. I don't know, I'm doing this thing where I'm crying and I'm not 100% sure why I'm crying. Hitting 200 million with the boys was fun, but now I'm just alone and trapped in here again. It's been five days, five days alone in this coffin. I honestly have no idea how I'm gonna survive two more days of this. I'm going downhill quickly. Yo, Jimmy. How you doing? At least you got 200 million, my boy. Oh, no response. I don't know if he's alive. Nolan, I appreciate you checking in on me and caring, but... Are you actually hanging in there? I know... 
Jimmy went from being terrified to an absolute yapster, and now he's a sad boy. I'm doing my best to talk to you guys for content, but to be honest, I have like zero desire to speak. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, he's losing his mind. I think we need to find a way to cheer him up. So I want to make some phone calls. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I've already used up all my pee bottles. And so basically, whenever I have to pee, I eat one of these meals, and then I just pee in this bag and zip it up. I know that might be too much information. This challenge is disgusting, and I want to leave. Nah, it's the content. We need it. We want to know everything, man. What you do with your shit? I was so down bad that there was only <laughs> one thing in this world that could possibly cheer me up. Jimmy, I brought somebody. Who'd you bring? My parents. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> how's it going? Well, have you talked about Nolan's mom at all since you've been down there? Uh, no, not whatsoever. Nolan, are your, pa are your parents having problems? Because he said Nolan's mom. He ain't say my wife. So are, are they still together? Hmm, so Mr. Beast is trying to crush because she's single. Hmm, Nolan, like I said, you better watch out because she's single. Uh, and the picture? Um, that cooler looked like she's still trying to jump up some trees. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, do you guys have something super embarrassing you could tell us about Nolan? Arr. Jimmy, there's so many. That will instantly make this challenge so much better. He told us he was going to prom, but he actually just went to the neighbors next door for a little bit. Oh! <laughs> We'd like to see him bring a girl home for Christmas. That's all I needed to cheer me up, because I know the comment section is going to go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Jimmy. <laughs> My mom has one more question. Hit me. All right, now you walk away. Bye, That's Jimmy. how it works. <laughs> so he, he, he ain't had no prom date. He should have been on super bad. I'm gonna keep it real with you. <laughs> Did he throw the walkie again? I know all of you like to sleep in and you don't like getting up early. I don't care. In exactly 12 hours, I need you all to start digging, okay? What time is it? As long as we wake up for our alarms, We'll be good. What would you do if when I stand up, I get blood clots and just die on the spot? I'd know where to put you. <laughs> See, you right, you're wrong. We got the gra your grave already made, buddy. In 12 hours. It's a date. I'm about to go to bed, and hopefully when I open these eyes in the morning, someone is digging me out of this coffin. Sorry, I don't know why I'm tearing up. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been more excited for anything in my entire life. I can't wait to see the sunlight tomorrow. I'll see you guys in the morning. This is gonna be awesome. Laying down for my final night, all I could think about is whether or not I'd be able to stand when this is over. It's not normal to be laying down and not moving this long. Why didn't he just squat in there? If he could sit up, why didn't he just squat down on his legs so that way he could get the pressure of standing up? I don't know. Boys, it has officially been seven days! Woo! Yeah! I know you guys don't like doing manual labor, but can you dig me up? We're getting you out, Jimmy! Ugh. This is the worst part of the challenge because now I'm just waiting for my stupid friends to dig me up. And of course, there's the added tension of whether or not I'm going to die when I stand up. So, yeah. Bring in the excavator! So, yeah. You ain't finna die, dude. The video came out. You ain't dead. Bet you when I get out, the first thing they're gonna say is how bad I smell. Jimmy, this Santa Claus looking guy is gonna bring you out now. Carl, I don't care what he looks like. Just get me out of this coffin! Dig! 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 Any second now, this dirt above me will turn into sunlight. I can't wait. Oh, that's the excavator. Oh, that's scary. I can see sunlight. Hey. hey! I know he felt like he was in a rapture right there. He said, I can see sunlight. Hey! Jimmy! Hey. How's it going? <laughs> <sighs> it's hard to describe what the sun looks like after not seeing it for seven days straight. Oh my gosh. I started crying once again. I'm not sure why. I just couldn't help it. We did it! <laughs> we did it. The only question that remains now is when I stand up. Am I going to die of blood clots? We'll find out in just a minute. Jimmy, you ready? Don't drop it on me. Ew, I bet it stinks in there. You guys are predictable. I said that's what you would say. Let's not celebrate until I stand up and don't die of blood clots. At least sit up for a second, but wait, 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 wait. Wait for medic to come down. You feel nauseous at all, dizzy? Uh, I don't know. That's good enough for me. Come on up, so Jimmy. Really <laughs> my first time standing in a week. Oh my God, my legs are weak. Yeah, oh, I didn't die. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Before. I'm good. I do feel like a rush of blood to me. Seven days, dude. Seven days underground in a coffin, cold.
Good video, bro. <laughs> That's Hopefully one of them blood costs don't ever uh, pop up in the future. <laughs> that is actually a crazy feeling. But the real surprise was waiting for me just above ground. Oh, wow, there's so many kids. After seven days, I was finally able to celebrate 200 million subscribers the right way. Yeah, we have to celebrate 200 million, bro. Now that you all saw my underwear, I'm going to end the video. <laughs> and as always, let's end with an explosion. This was the Mr. Beast video, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know what would you have done. Would you have did seven days? What would you have needed for your seven days? Man, you already know what I'm going to say, man. Stay lit. Get tips and don't quit. We're going to roll to some big numbers, so make sure you join the gang. Dude, Mr. Beast, you lit. You lit. You lit. Toasty gang. We mess with him. Rock out. Let's get it.